Welcome back to Storytime. And if this is your first time on this channel, thank you for stopping by. I am your Storytime reader, Miss Nikki. Today, I have a fun story about one of South Africa's beloved book characters, Jamela, written by author Nikki Daly. Today's story is titled, What's Cooking, Jamela? Before we start reading, let's take a quick look at the cover. Here is Jamela carrying a chicken and she appears to be running away. What do you predict the story is about? Hmm, let's read and find out what Jamela is up to. What's cooking, Jamela? Story and Pictures by Nikki Daly. Coco and Mama were making plans for Christmas. I'll make the pudding. You can do a chicken, said Coco. And Thelma will cook a nice rice and morogo stew, said Mama. Good, said Coco. We'll have a lovely Christmas meal. Jamela knew all about Christmas. It was a time to celebrate baby Jesus's birthday with a nativity play at school. Christmas also meant Christmas presents and getting together with the family. When Goko left, Mama said, Come, Jamela, let's go to Mrs. Zebi and buy one of her young chickens. If we feed it well, it will be nice and fat for Christmas. Mama let Jamela choose the chicken, a beautiful red one. Mrs. Zebi gave them a bag of millies. We can call her Christmas, said Jamela. Mama laughed. That's a good name for a Christmas chicken, Jamela. When they got home, Mama showed Jamela how much water and millies the chicken would need every day. See if she will eat out of your hand, suggested Mama. Nervously, Jamela held out a handful of yellow millies. Look, Mama, she's eating, squealed Jamela. Now it's time to feed my own chick, said Mama, smiling. Before she went to bed, Jamela asked, How long until Christmas, Mama? When our chicken is nice and fat. Then it will be Christmas, replied Mama. Every morning before school, Jamela gave Christmas food and water. If there was time, she let Christmas sit in her lap and hand feed her millies. That bird just loved to eat. Mama scooped up the chicken droppings, which she used to make fertilizer to feed her squashes. Every day, the chicken and the squashes seemed to grow rounder and larger. Whenever Coco visited, she asked, How is our Christmas meal doing? Jamela frowned and said, She's doing fine, Coco. But she didn't like the way Coco licked her lips, like the lady on the fried chicken TV commercial. At school, they did a nativity play. There were angels and African dancers. Jamela played Mary and carried baby Jesus on her back like a real mama. Wuyo was a very handsome Joseph in his basutu hat and blanket. Tabu, Elliot and Zingi were splendid wise men in their Madiba shirts. They sang away in a manger and add the Christmas songs to the sound of marimba and drums. Everyone clapped and sang along. When Jamela and Mama got home, Jamela made a manger for Christmas. That's a lovely manger, but I hope you're not growing too fond of that chicken, said Mama. No, Mama, sang Jamela, as she ran outside yelling, Christmas! Chick, chick, come and see what I made for you. Mama was worried when she saw how happy Jamela and the big fat chicken looked, sitting side by side. Just how would she get the chicken away from Jamela and into a pot?
hot. The day before Christmas, Mrs. ZB came round. Jamela, please go and see how Thelma is getting on with the rice and morogo, said Mama. Jamela looked at Mrs. ZB's big hands as they rubbed against her apron. They looked ready for serious business. Stop staring and go now, Jamela, said Mama. Jamela knew it was bad manners to argue with grown-ups, but she didn't like the look of things. Okay, Mama, said Jamela as she set off to Thelma's house, with Christmas in her arms. Christmas flapped and squawked. She almost flew out of Jamela's arms. Do you want to sell that chicken? called the lady who was cooking chicken legs for her customers. Jamela shook her head, I corner, and hurried along. A taxi hooted. Startled, Jamela jumped and let go of Christmas. Laughter filled the taxi stand as the chicken scrambled between legs and disappeared into the crowd. Christmas! Chick, chick, wailed Jamela, but Christmas was nowhere to be seen. Gone. Jamela walked slowly home. At the end of her street, she saw Mama and Mrs. Zebe running toward her. Mama looked worried. Mrs. Zebe looked cross. How Jamela wished she could grow wings and fly over the heads down the street and far, far away. Where's the chicken? panted Mrs. Zebe. Jamela flapped her arms weakly. Gone, she said. Oh, Jamela, sighed Mama. Jamela looked sorry, but inside she was smiling. Wherever Christmas was, she was not in anyone's pot. Mama took Jamela firmly by the hand and they walked home. When they passed Archie, Mama greeted him. Molo Archie, have you seen our chicken? I corna, replied Archie, but if I do, I'll tell it that you ladies are looking for it. Down the road, old Greasy Hands was rubbing up a car. Molo Greasy Hands, shouted Mama over the noise. Have you seen our chicken? What? shouted Greasy Hands. Just then, a taxi skidded to a stop. <coughs> the passengers shouted, Hamba! Get it out! Get it out! The taxi door opened and out jumped a plump red chicken. Christmas fluffed out her feathers, then took off over the pavement and into Miss Style hairdressers. Quick! Quick! shouted Mama. Inside the salon, Christmas was running wild over counters and half-braided ladies. Hair dryers, shampoo, combs, braids and beads went flying. Mama grabbed a basket and conned Christmas. Viva! shouted the ladies when Mama managed to throw the basket over the frantic chicken. Mrs. Zebe thrust her hands under the basket and pulled out Christmas. From the basket to the pot, she hollowed. Oh, Mama, Mama, please don't let Mrs. Zebe hurt Christmas, cried Jamela. A chicken is a chicken, snapped Mrs. Zebe. Christmas is not a chicken, cried Jamela. Christmas is my friend, and you can't eat friends. Mama looked at the ladies for help, but the ladies were all smiling sweetly at Jamela. You can't eat friends, echoed the ladies. Gah, nonsense, scolded Mrs. Zebe. On Christmas morning, Jamela helped Mama prepare their Christmas meal. The rich chicken fertilizer had given the squashes soft succulent flesh. Jamela scooped out the seeds and put them aside. Mama filled the hollow with a mixture of nuts, breadcrumbs, butter, and tasty herbs. 
By the time Coco and the other family members arrived, mouth-watering smells filled the kitchen. Coco sniffed and asked, What's cooking, Jamela? It's a surprise, Coco, Jamela replied. After everyone had exchanged presents, Mama invited the family to the table and served the food. Steam danced around Thelma's rice and morogo stew. Mama took the lid off the delicious-smelling baked squash. Jamela could see Coco's eyes searching for the chicken, but Coco didn't say anything. Everyone was happy to be enjoying a Christmas dinner together. After the dessert, Coco rubbed her tummy. Then looking at Mama, she said, Hi, that was better than a five-star hotel. But Cece, where's the chicken? Jamela jumped up from the table. I'll show you, Coco, she said. Grabbing Coco's hand, she led her out into the yard where Christmas was enjoying a tasty feast of squash seeds. Look, Coco, there's the chicken, said Jamela. Mama has given her to me for a Christmas present. Her name is Christmas. Coco looked at the beautiful chicken, but she didn't lick her lips. Instead, she hugged Jamela against her full tummy and said, Well, it looks like a very happy Christmas to me. You bet. The end. I hope you enjoyed this heartwarming story. I think we can all benefit from a happy ending. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stories. I look forward to reading to you again soon. Until then, take care and stay curious.